Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we're taking a look at a Lego Movie 2 polybag. This is set number 30460, Rex's Plantable Ambush. The set consists of 32 pieces, including uh, Rex Danger Vest minifigure, as well as a Plantable. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and crack it open and take a look. Have set 30460 Rex's Plantamole Ambush. As you can see, we have Rex Danger Vest with a rather large brick built weapon and a Plantamole. And here we have Rex with his very large weapon, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. The figure itself is not bad. I like that face print. He looks kind of wryly happy. There is an alternate face as well, which is less than happy. Uh, both faces have a bit of stubble. Uh, which is appropriate for the figure. I like that hair piece too. Um, it's appropriate for the character. Uh, the outfit is well done and the print is nice. It goes all the way down to the toes um, as well as onto the arms with those bracelets. Um, some print on the back as well. Overall, not too bad. Here is his weapon. This is a dual barreled blaster of some sort. This is made up of no less than 12 pieces, so more than a third of the entire build or the entire set rather is this weapon it's so large that he cannot stand up while holding it it would have been nice if they had included a figure stand or something just to let Rex stand upright while holding this thing um, it's it's okay it's just way oversized uh, even compared to what he had in the movie uh, it's made up of a couple of these um, Technic pins along with this new relatively new bottle top piece and then these Technic sleeves and that makes up the barrels then we have the um, ingot pieces in black there are two of those that make up the sides of the weapon we have a brick with stud on the side a slope and a green plate and there's this piece which I don't know the technical name of but it is a one by two brick with studs on three sides and a bar handle at the bottom. Don't see this too often, but it's a useful part. And finally we have this little guy, and I am a fan of this one, I think he's pretty cool. Uh, he's got some googly eyes that are somewhat reminiscent of some of the uh, creator stuff that you might have seen, um, even a little bit of brickheads, although the brickheads are a little bit different of course. Um, lots of interesting plant pieces that are made into different colors and part of the body is made up of a light purple or dark pink crab piece which is kind of interesting as well but a cute little build for what is possibly a uh, alien invader or some sort of potential enemy without giving any spoilers away from the movie but these guys are featured prominently in the second or maybe it's the third act of the show so anyway that's that so this set was offered as a gift with purchase from Lego stores and Lego Shop at Home with purchases of Lego Movie 2 sets with a threshold of $35. So in order to get this, you had to make a qualifying purchase. Uh, not a bad little set. As I say, I wish there was a stand for the figure so that he could actually hold his weapon without leaning on it like shown here. But I really like the little character next to him, the plantable. Kind of a cool little poly bag. I'm glad to have it, but nothing extraordinary. This can probably be found on the aftermarket places like eBay or BrickLink for less than $10. So if you're interested and missed out on the promotion, you might check there. Anyway, this has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.